Well, here we are at the uh, tail end of October, and I thought I'd do a little update. I haven't done one in a while. You know, we've been cranking pretty hard on just the videos and keeping that updated, but I thought I'd take some time and provide a little update since there is a bunch of stuff that has been going on. <clears throat> some of it, it's just not that interesting to film, but it's, uh, it's important. Uh, one example is I've been uh, taking advice from somebody that uh, sent a suggestion. <clears throat> one is that uh, with the seams where the OSB uh, on the exterior wall uh, where the two pieces meet is to uh, tape the outside. And while we didn't do that, uh, the second recommendation was to uh, block those seams on the inside. The problem I have with that is that uh, it, it will break up the insulation and create some some gaps I'm not too, uh, too pleased with. So what I'm gonna do is, or what I have been doing is uh, slowly going through the inside of the house and taping all of those seams zip tape so that way we uh, create a little bit more of a uh, air barrier in the house and and get that done another item that we've been doing again it's a it's a slow item but it's a necessary item as we've been trying to figure out uh, the stain for the front porch beams we don't really want to paint them the wood was actually pretty nice looking and we like that so Colleen's been busy testing stains and figuring out exactly what uh, what exactly she wants to put on there. It's kind of her project. Uh, I, I care, but I really don't care. I've got other fish to fry, so uh, I've left that up to her, and she's done a pretty good job of getting all the uh, the stain tested and the waterproofing. So hopefully here in the, in the next uh, week or so before weather really starts turning on us, uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get that done. <clears throat> but the weather certainly has uh, gone from having highs or highs in the 70s to where we're now uh, getting lows in the mornings in the 30s and uh, daytime highs are in the high 40s so quite a bit of change uh, for us. It doesn't put out a garden video because our garden uh, this year really really didn't do so well. We had a lot of problems early on in the spring we took a late uh, late snow and rain that kind of decimated our garden and uh, we never really fully recovered. We did pretty well with it. We got some stuff out of it. Uh, one of the things that did really well, I uh, was pretty excited about was the kohlrabi. Haven't found any good, really good recipes with that yet, but uh, <clears throat> we, uh, we managed to get quite a, few, uh, quite a few things there. And then this year, the mushrooms just didn't, uh, didn't happen. It was way too hot, so we couldn't maintain the humidity and anything else to keep the mushrooms going. That was uh, that was kind of a kind of a bummer. One of the other fixes that I did uh, over in the utility closet was I managed to take some time and get the uh, get the that hole uh, boxed in with a with a cover. I uh, mismarked when I laid down the flooring, and so I've got a hole there I got to fix. But overall, I managed to get that uh, get that completed pretty well as well.
Well, I got the roof or the and kind of one of the last things that uh, we are in since we are in October we are in the uh, heart of hunting season uh, kind of done a little bit of it with no luck and I've got a uh, trip planned for the 4th 5th and 6th of November uh, to eastern Montana to try and get uh, antelope uh, since that is the last weekend and also uh, we are in the heart of uh, elk and deer season so hopefully we've got a trifecta in the next couple of weeks with hunting season but overall that's uh that's to be seen the weather hoping for better weather or war colder weather and some storms to kind of drive the animals up from the high country down a little bit lower that will certainly help things out but we'll see in a couple of weeks once we get that and of course next week we've got halloween uh, that's one thing that uh, is pretty amazing uh, our little we have quite a few kids that come through our neighborhood and it makes it uh, makes it kind of busy and keeps it keeps it going for us uh, we're looking forward to having that again this year like i said they come in caravans so we'll uh, we'll deal with that when we get to it overall the race towards drying is uh progressing uh, again the goal for me is by november 15th uh, to get this place dried in we've got uh, as you know the last video we had all the underlayment on the house and uh, we are slowly progressing on getting the house wrap completed. Uh, hopefully in next week's video, we'll be finishing off the bracing and the other items in the house that need to be done from the roofing project. And then we've got some OSB still to put on the uh, bay window side of this house and then finish off the house wrap. And of course, uh, windows and doors. And then we will be, we'll be totally dried in and ready for working inside during the winter. Uh, that's a that's a big relief like I said the roof itself come along is uh, is pretty pretty impressive it's nice to have the help I, again it's one of those things that there comes a point in time when you've got to uh, put the DIY aside and go ahead and get some help from uh, from others so having that roof underlayment uh, completed uh, is a big thing and coming up we've got again gonna have the roofers here to put the roof on this house and that'll be a big step towards uh, making sure everything is is uh, good to go with that. Anyway, I just wanted to provide a little short uh, update video on where we're at and some of the things we've got going on. Uh, there's, uh, like I said, in between videos, there's a lot going on um, that we may not film or I may not film, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's still important stuff. Also, if you wanna see more up-to-date uh, on what things are, you know, YouTube is between filming and building and then having to edit, I'm usually a week or two behind on the YouTube videos. So if you would like to keep up to date, you can find us on Instagram under Redemption Road. Uh, we put uh, daily updates or, and try to keep that as close to uh, what's happening live as we can. And we certainly do that as well on Facebook. So if you're not on those two platforms and would like to follow us, please do so there. I'll try and really put, some, uh, put some links in the description below so that way you can go check out those as well. Anyway, we appreciate it. I'm glad we're getting towards the end of October. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please remember to like and subscribe. We're getting, uh, we're getting closer towards the 500 mark. Uh, I'd love to see us get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you have friends or anybody that would really uh, enjoy watching the project uh, building this house and this farm, uh, we'd appreciate you sharing the videos. But anyway, uh, just a little update, and I want to thank you for watching.